Hello everyone, this is Joshua Wells with JM Photography. As you can see, uh, we have been mobile with a Class C behind us. It's a 1996 Dutchman Ford E350. And uh, we actually just moved into it full time starting uh, July 1st of this year, 2018. All that noise in the background that you hear is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, motocross. Uh, we are at the Evergreen State Fairgrounds or the Evergreen Speedway, otherwise known as Evergreen Motocross. And uh, we are hanging out there in the RV park. Tonight is our last night here. I think we are planning on going to the casino tomorrow. Boondock there for the next three nights and uh, figure out where life takes us after that. That is one absolutely wonderful thing. Uh, my wife and I have just enjoyed the most of living in our RVs. The fact that we can pick and choose where we want to go, when we want to go there, whether or not we want to hook up and pay for a place. Like where we're at now, here in Monroe, Washington, is absolutely wonderful. I mean, yeah, you get motocross, you get NASCAR races, and some uh, drifting events but uh, for $25 a night with uh, power and water hookup and there's a sewer connection you know, somewhere over that way uh, you know you can't can't go wrong for only $25 a night right so we're here we're finishing up our one week here and then we'll be gone we might circle back here because we found out that we're ended up going to be stuck in the state of Washington for probably the next month or two. Uh, we'll see how that goes. We're trying to get out of here and head down south. Uh, see my brother down in Texas. My sister's over in Idaho. So hopefully we can swing by and see my sister before the snow hits and we can get this bad boy up and over the pass. It does not have four wheel drive. So uh, it is at a disadvantage there. Hopefully uh, the weather stays nice and dry and uh, we can keep going. <laughs> Speaking of the weather being nice and dry, the other day out here, it was just a, a torrential downpour. I mean, it was borderline monsoon. The water was coming down the side of the RVs so hard that it was like a, just a constant stream of water. There were no like, droplets or lines of droplets going down the windows it was just a waterfall absolutely insane and we ended up having some water come inside the rv and naturally you know when you have a leak coming inside your home you kind of freak out and i was a roofer for over six years i think closer to seven years uh commercial roofer so i am familiar with the epdm roof that's on top of this thing However, it's also been a few years since uh, since I've roofed, so I had to make a phone call to my stepfather, who uh, is still in the roofing industry, and uh, you know, he's definitely a badass in the industry. So whenever I have any questions, call him up. He gave me some tips and tricks, and uh, uh, ended up being just the unit, thank goodness. Uh, we didn't have to deal with anything with the roof. I just had to pull the vent off inside and tighten up the four AC bolts which I don't think the previous owners ever did because it was very, very loose. So it's cinched down tight now and it hasn't, uh, uh, it hasn't leaked, but it hasn't rained much since that night either. As you can tell, it's uh, blue skies. Blue skies everywhere right now. So I think that's gonna be it uh, for my first, uh, what do you call these, uh, vlogs? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be following a lot of other RV -er, full-time RVers on YouTube, and uh, you know, feel free to leave comments, tips, suggestions. My wife and I are looking to uh, hook up some solar to our RV so that we can do a lot more boondocking. We like to get away and uh, get as far away from people as possible. You know, just kind of get out there in the wilderness and do some hiking, things like that. Uh, get our little dogs out and about too. You know, we got two little Pomeranians, uh, one white, one black. You'll meet them sooner or later. You'll also meet my wife soon. Uh, but uh, my wife's a little camera shy, 
and uh, I am too. Like I said, I you know I, I'm a photographer, so I like to do the shooting. I don't like to be in front of the camera, so this is a whole new experience for me. So uh, I appreciate your patience and uh, bearing with me. And until next time, you guys have a great day.